Hey there, Ride the Car Guy here, and today let's put a little armor on the 8-Ball. So when I bought the 8-Ball off of Duncan from Nissan Parts Polar as my project truck, he included these. Now I knew that these were plates for the bottom of the truck, but to be totally honest, I had to text him and ask him exactly where they went. He told me that these plates actually come stock on Pro 4X models, and that this one is for the oil pan, and this one is for the transfer case. So I excitedly slid underneath the 8-Ball, and I saw that the transmission cross member and the front cross member have pre-drilled holes that already have nuts welded into them for these exact plates. So let's get under there and put them on. All right, let's start with the one for the transfer case. Uh, you'll see that two of these are slotted, so we're just gonna go down. We'll put in our bolts and washers in these two, slide it on, and then just put on the rest. All right, so right here is our main transmission cross member and we have our plate. I went to the hardware and determined that these are eight by 1.25 bolts. And I got, what is this? This is like a, I don't know, an inch, maybe inch and a half max. I think these pass through. The one, there's a couple up front that might be shorter. Yeah, these are fine. But we'll look at those when we get it. So I, I got some shorter ones in case. So I'm just gonna hold this up and I'm gonna see how it lines up. And it looks like it lines up right, right there. Yeah, right there. So. I'm gonna grab a bolt for this hole and the outside hole where it's slotted, and then we'll slide it in and secure the rest. All right, I slid those in, and I got lock washers for all of them, especially for this one. This one's actually cantilevered, so what you'll see is once I put this in, so we'll slide this in like that. There we go. It actually does not get supported on the back at all. It just sort of hangs here. So now that it's being supported by those two, I'll put in the other three, and then we can go do the front. The heads on mine are 13 millimeter. With lock washers, I'm not going to any specific spec, so I'm just tightening them down and calling it done. Excellent. That, that actually feels quite strong, believe it or not. So, looking good. Let's uh, move up to the front. Now, of course, we want to protect our transfer case, right? That's, you know, it's important, but this one just feels a little bit more important. This one has two slots on the front, and that faces the front. And then back here, you're going to see it kind of swoops up, so you'll see the shape of it here. That swoops up behind the oil pan and protects it. So the ones in the rear have pretty large holes, so you're gonna want some sizable washers to make sure those stay on. But let's install the front ones here because we have our slots in the front where we can let them sit. These are the ones that felt like real shallow to me. So I got a slightly smaller bolt. See that, like probably like one inch versus three quarter. And uh, you know what, it's probably just sand. Yeah, it's probably just grit in there. Oh yeah, and when you pull it out, there's schmutz on it. There's that one. Again, I'm just gonna do lock washers all around, make myself feel good. And then here's the bigger washers I bought. I had these originally, but they feel like they're just gonna go straight through the hole. And then these are a lot bigger, so hopefully you can see that. Slide that on. Perfect. Grab these. All right, yeehaw, we're done. Look at that. Well, it doesn't get much easier than that. Now, am I gonna be able to jump in eight ball and drive directly to Moab and start sliding down rocks? Well, of course not. I measured these, they're about two millimeters, so that's like 14 gauge steel, and they're really only protecting a couple of small strategic areas. Kind of like wearing a helmet and a cup when you play sports, you wanna try to protect the important bits. For me, and the way I'm gonna use eight ball, it's actually perfect. I'm just gonna do some light trail riding. It's gonna help avoid, you know, rocks getting kicked up in those areas. You know, maybe a branch flying up when I drive over it, something like that. But obviously this isn't gonna do full protection for you. My understanding is that there's also a gas tank skid I'd like to get on there at some point, and maybe eventually, depending on how far I go with the off-roading, I might get some more custom stuff. But it is good to know that they already have those pre-drilled points on the cross members, well, on the transmission cross member and the front cross member and all the way up to the front. So we can do some fun stuff, maybe some custom stuff in the future. That would be really fun uh, when we get some more welding under my belt. But regardless, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please scroll down, click that like button. If you wanna say thanks by buying me a beer, you can scroll down and click the super thanks button. Definitely subscribe for more content like this and we'll see you in the next one.